North Korea tests ballistic missile, Seoul. The launch takes place days before the U.S. vice president visits the region. North Korea has test-fired a short-range ballistic missile ahead of U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris' trip to the region, Seoul says. The projectile, launched from around Techon in North Korea's northwest, traveled around 600 kilometers (373 miles) before landing in the Sea of Japan, the South Korean Joint Chiefs of Staff (JCS) said. The news comes ahead of Harris' visit to South Korea and Japan and the planned U.S.-South Korean joint naval exercise. The VP will embark on an Asian tour next week. South Korea's Presidential National Security Council said the launch was illegal under international law. JCS Chairman General Kim Soon Kyum and General Paul Lacamara, the commander of the South Korea-U.S. Combined Forces Command, released a statement vowing to further solidify a combined defense posture against any North Korean threats and provocations. They added that the North's weapon tests undermine peace. The U.S. Indo-Pacific Command separately stated that Washington's commitments to defend South Korea and Japan remain ironclad. The USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier docked at South Korea's port of Busan for the first time in nearly five years on Friday. Two U.S. guided missile destroyers also arrived in Busan, while another destroyer docked near Changwon as part of the strike group's visit. The U.S. and South Korea resumed large-scale joint drills last month after several years of hiatus. Pyongyang considers the exercise as a threat to national security.